Hi again. The countdown continues. Michael Wagner's top five writing tips of all time. We've already covered tip five, which was use a fast pen or pencil or keyboard. On now to tip number four. Collect your ideas in a journal. Okay, here's the thing. You get ideas at random times, usually the most inconvenient of all times, like when you're falling asleep or just waking up in the morning. It's typical for me to get an idea when I'm drifting off to sleep. It is so annoying. I get an idea and I have to then wrestle with myself about getting up and writing that idea down. And I always let the part of me that says write the idea down win. Uh, annoyingly, because I know that that idea, by the time I wake up the next morning, there's every chance that idea has completely and utterly gone. Now, these ideas that you get, they're random. They don't, they come at the times that they want to come to you. And it's vital to get them all written down because those ideas, usually they're useless at the moment that you get the idea. Maybe a little bit fun or inspiring or something. They may, they may get a story going, but often they're just random, useless sorts of ideas. Um, but what happens is when you gather them in your journal, you end up with this collection of previously useless ideas that are actually your inspiration for later on. I, I, I wrote uh, a series called So Wrong, basically just by wading through lots of journals. I've got lots of journals and all these random ideas that made no sense as a single thing, like there were ads for different things, that which were just funny ads, um, parodies of children's picture books and things like that. They made no sense as a book of their own, but they did make sense. They became not useless. They became useful once I realized that I could actually make these books that are, are like a random collection of short stories, parodies, um, sat satirical advertisements and things like that, just crazy little ideas all bundled together into one book. Now, I, the only reason I had the material and the idea for that is because of my journals. If all those ideas had disappeared into space and I'd never written them down, I would never have had the material I could look back on and see and find all this stuff that was still funny a year, two years, three years later. It was still funny to me. So while funny enough to write down, but not really useful when I got the idea, so keeping it in a journal meant that it was there for all time for me to use when the moment was right. That's your journal. Your journals are ideas collected for when the moment is right. And the moment will probably come at some stage. Sometimes the journal has rubbish in it. You know, sometimes the ideas are no good. That's the way it goes. But often the idea is great. You just don't know what to do with it yet. Because you know what? You're unconscious. Where, where these ideas come from is often working a long way in advance of your brain. We think our brain is the smartest part of ourselves, but actually our imagination is more. Well, I'll talk about that later. But our imagination is often way, way ahead of us. And so, so when it presents you with an idea, you've got to not waste it. You cannot waste it. You've got to get it down in a journal so that it's there when the time is right. So tip number four, collect your ideas in a journal. Very, very important.